Here we're asked to solve a system by graphing. Let's begin by finding an equivalent system where the equations are in slope-intercept form. We can do that with the first equation by subtracting x on both sides. That'll leave us with negative x minus 1. Now let's find the second equation in slope-intercept form. To do that, in this case, we see that we have to add 2x to both sides. That'll leave us with negative 2y equals positive 2x plus 2. Isolating y, then, we can divide both sides by its coefficient here, negative 2. And we have y equals negative x minus 1. Notice here in slope-intercept form, we can see that the lines are actually the same. And when the lines are the same in a system, that indicates that the system is dependent. Let's graph these on the same set of axes. By inspection, we can see the slope is negative 1. Let's think of that as negative 1 over 1. So our rise will be negative 1 and our run will be 1. The y-intercept, which is the same for both lines, is 0 comma negative 1. So from the y-intercept, we can obtain another point by marking off the slope, negative 1 rise, and a positive 1 run. And then we can connect the points with a straight edge. And if we were to graph the second line, notice it would be the exact same line. And we know solutions to a dependent system, or solutions to any system, consists of all the ordered pairs of intersection. Here we have infinitely many solutions. So we can write all of the solutions in the form of an ordered pair, x comma, mx plus b. In this case, slope-intercept form was negative x minus 1. So any point that looks like x comma negative x minus 1, where x is a real number, is a solution to this system.